good morning on day 36 of my Appalachian Trail through hike. I'm in Damascus, Virginia. It's windy. It's 41 degrees. It's going to be windy all day. Um, I just went shopping at the Dollar General. Bought a couple of things, including this, because their ice cream shop is closed today, and it was closed yesterday, and I was really craving some ice cream. So, anyways, I'm going to have this. I'm going to go to the post office, and I'm going to head out. I'll check back in a minute. All right, see that white place? You gotta really look for it. On a, <laughs> on a major road. So right now, the Appalachian Trail and the Virginia Creeper Trail are currently the same trail. I've ridden on this trail on a bike before, a couple times. So it's pretty ironic that I'm hiking it now. And I see another blaze. This busy, busy street. And then go up these stairs. Uh, of course I do. Third day straight of it being very windy. And I'm on the top of a ridge. So when you're up high in a mountain, the wind feels a little more brutal than when you're on the ground in the in the city. Whew. Getting a little bit sick of it. Maybe I should listen to my special song to put me at ease. Got the sun out. This pretty little bridge. And a very small little stream. Okay. Time for lunch. And a bathroom break. Gonna do it right at this, looks like a campsite area. Good place to sit, have a snack or two, and rest. All right, try not my new selfie stick. Gotta finish my gummy bears first. This is like my appetizer to my lunch. Bought these at the Dollar General in town. I'm surrounded by rhododendron bushes and obviously trees and water. I can hear water. Very peaceful. Haven't passed a lot of people today. I have to admit I'm getting sick of all the same stuff I've been eating. Today, by the way, marks five weeks on the trail. I'm gonna try this. This is something that my friend Nancy uh, sent with John for my birthday. Apples and strawberries. It's a mini fruit bar. And they say that's all that's in there. Ingredients, apples and strawberries. All right, let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Pretty good. That's it. Back on the road. Back on the trail. Here's the water I was hearing. Pretty. Another little camping area probably. Oh, and it looks like we're coming up to a road. I was not expecting that. I didn't even really look at the map. <laughs> look at that rushing water. I'm headed down that way. Let's just enjoy this for a minute. If I needed something I could get that water, it'd be free. And clean and fresh from the mountain. The uh, map says this pond is called Stagnant 
pond. And it definitely looks that way. Look at all these trees are all lined up. I wonder if somebody planted them that way or what? All lined up right next to the pond. There it is. Probably camping area right there. And Appalachian Trail right here. Oh, I gotta admit, today's kind of been a, a blah day. I haven't seen a lot of people. The weather's just been kind of blah. I mean, luckily the wind never really picked up anymore from this morning, but just a blah day and my body's tired. Um, so these last few miles are just dragging on. Uh, anyways, I'll be anxious to get to camp and make myself some food and set up my tent and call it a day. Hopefully no issues until then. Oh my goodness, I remember this. Virginia Creeper Trail and the Appalachian Trail. I've been here before. Oh my gosh. I've been here when I was on the Virginia Creeper Trail and I actually hiked up there a little bit. Got off my bike. And here I am doing the Appalachian Trail. Isn't it amazing? So freaking cool. And I'm gonna sit right there on that bench and take a break. I need it. I need to boost up my morale here before I finish. All right, I feel better. I'm sitting on a bench. Wouldn't that be nice if there were benches on the Appalachian Trail? I'm sitting on a bench and behind me right there, that's the Creeper Trail. Like I said, I've been on it at least four times and it's awesome. I highly recommend anybody that likes to bike ride to come here and do the Creeper Trail in the fall. It's fun. I mean, actually you could come do it now. There's nobody on it. So, and it's all pretty much, they drive you up to like the top of like a little bit of a incline and then you just kind of coast all the way down like 10, 15 miles worth of bike pass and just a fun day. And then also I wanted to mention, I'm having this um, snack called Cars, the American Trail Mix. And I noticed something. Check it out, it says Detroit born. Actually, Madison Heights, Michigan, which I'm from Detroit and I actually lived in Madison Heights at one point in my life. So how cool is that? I had no idea. Very good snack. All right, that's it for now. I actually get to pass over a creeper trail bridge. I've been on this bridge. This is wild to me that I didn't think I'd be sharing the creeper trail this long. Fine with it though. Only one here. By the way, this is easy walking. You imagine? I could do this all day long. Oh yeah. Okay, Appalachian Trail to the left. Time to get off the creeper trail. There's my sign. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, I just had another stumble, but I didn't fall. That's about three or four I've had in the past two hours. So I think I'm physically exhausted. I have 0.2 to the shelter and I can't get there fast enough. There's supposed to be a privy and bear boxes. So that's gonna save me on two of my chores tonight. So let's go do it. So this is called the Lost Mountain Shelter. And it comes with a bear warning. Make sure you put your food away. Water over to the left and you can see the blue blaze on the tree. There's nobody in the shelter right now. Every shelter comes with a log book. I'll be signing that in a minute. Also has a broom. Can you see the broom over there? And somebody left a book. But And then there's a fire pit. Well, someone's got like all the kindling to make a nice looking fire. Huh. And then a big old picnic table. The 
privy is over there. Oh, nice. And then I'm gonna put my food in this metal bear canister. I'll be putting it in here, overnight food storage, okay? When I'm done. So kind of bad news, my little fuel canister ran out of fuel before my water started boiling. So it's pretty warm. I'm gonna still stick it in the bag and I'll still eat it in 15 minutes, but um, it means I'm not gonna have coffee tomorrow. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. So let's talk about a certain type of shoe that I've been resistant to for about 15 years. When my uh, neighbor started wearing them, a male neighbor, and I thought they looked ridiculous. They're called Crocs. <laughs> well, a lot of people here, I'd say 90% of the people, it seems like, maybe not 90, 80% of the people here have Crocs as their camp shoes. They put them on the second they get into camp and wear them all around instead of their tennis shoes or their trail runners that they've been hiking in all day. Well, after about 26 days, I decided, oh, actually I borrowed a pair at a hostel to wear. That was the hostel's um, camp shoes and it was great, I loved them. Ordered a pair that night and John borrowed them to me a couple days ago and I'm finally wearing them in camp, check them out. Don't be jealous. Don't be suspicious. Yes, I'm just waiting for my uh, meal to continue to rehydrate and then I'll be having lasagna for dinner with my camp shoes. All right, my backpacker's pantry lasagna. Not too bad. I'm grateful that it's at least warm and it's two servings, so this will hopefully fill me up. <laughs>